Gabapentin and a Carbil, which goes by the trade name Horizon, is one of the first line medication treatments for restless legs syndrome. But it is not often taken by many patients and not often prescribed. What are the key factors that one must know with, when it comes to Horizon for the treatment of restless leg syndrome? I'm Dr. Andy Burkowski of Relax Health. Now, Horizon is in a class of drugs called alpha-2 delta ligand calcium channel blockers. And if that doesn't mean much to you, basically the drug works by getting into the brain and calming down the communication between different brain cells that are producing that urge to move the legs or that uncomfortable feeling in the leg. So it's basically quieting down the signal you're getting to move the legs. And it's doing so through that active ingredient called gabapentin. Now, uh, in this class of drugs, these are all universally considered first-line drugs, including regular gabapentin and pregabalin, which goes by the trade name of Lyrica. Now, Horizon is the only FDA-approved medication that is still recommended by restless leg specialists. All of the other FDA-approved drugs are dopamine agonists like Mirapex, Requip, and Nupro. And these drugs are no longer recommended for the treatment of restless leg syndrome because they lead to inevitable augmentation or a worsening of the condition with long-term use. So Horizon's really the only FDA-approved drug that we still recommend. It works a lot differently though than regular gabapentin, even though the active ingredient is the same. And that's because Horizon has that n carbyl chemical attached to the gabapentin, which allows it to enter into the body through high capacity nutrient transporters. Now, when the medication is taken, it's absorbed very slowly and throughout the gastrointestinal system because it has a coating that makes it sort of an extended release and it's absorbed extremely well. So when taken with food, about 75% of the drug is actually absorbed, which is much better than regular gabapentin. Now, when you're comparing the numbers, a 600 milligram tablet of Horizon really only has a little over 300 milligrams of gabapentin in it, but the absorption is much different than gabapentin. So you really can't compare the doses of these drugs. Horizon is used from anywhere from 600 milligrams up to 1200 milligrams, and in some individuals, 1800 or 2400 milligrams for restless leg syndrome. Because it's, it has that coating, so it's absorbed over a longer period of time, it's best taken with dinner, and then it provides an effect throughout the evening and night, sometimes lasting as much as 12 to 24 hours of providing relief of symptoms. Because of the capsule that it's in, it's best not to cut, chew, or crush the tablet, because then it will essentially turn it into a highly absorbed immediate release form, and that can cause a lot of adverse effects if that all gets into the body all at once. So the main adverse effects of this drug are drowsiness and dizziness, which are common to this class of drugs. But if it is well tolerated, one can take higher and higher doses and potentially get more and more relief of symptoms. It should be taken with caution in those with severe kidney disease or those who are on dialysis because the, the kidney is actually what gets rid of the drug from the body. So it may not be able to be used or it has to be dosed at a correct amount. Now, one of the adverse effects that is often forgotten about these drugs is that it can cause a slowing of breathing. So if Horizon is taken in combination with things like muscle relaxants, anxiety medications like benzodiazepines, or regular opioids, particularly at high doses, the combination of any of these drugs can slow breathing down. So that's something to look out for if an individual is on one of these other drugs. But really, the biggest adverse effect is to the wallet. The drug is very expensive and sadly almost never covered by insurance, or when the insurance does cover it, it's still several hundred dollars. So that's been the biggest barrier to those individuals getting help for restless leg syndrome through Horizon is that they often can't get the drug because it's not affordable. There are discounts that are provided to certain non-Medicare uh, patients with private insurance. And then now there is a mail order drug company that is able to get it through a cash uh, price that is fairly affordable to some patients. But until either the drug company 
decides to lower its cost or insurance decides that it's a good FDA approved drug and they should probably start covering it, Horizon may be difficult for many uh, to obtain. Another note with Horizon, in those with augmentation, it may be less effective. There was a clinical trial showing this and with extensive clinical experience, many drugs are less effective in those with augmentation or those who have been exposed to dopamine agonists in the past. So yet another good reason never to get started on taking a dopamine agonist as it can make other treatments less effective. But overall, Horizon is an excellent option for the treatment of restless leg syndrome and one that hopefully will become more widely used in the years to come. As always, this video is for general information purposes only. It does not constitute the giving of medical advice. All medical decisions on Horizon or restless leg syndrome should be done under the care of a licensed medical professional. And as always, one of the keys to sleeping well is to relax.